the fourth game in this best of five series in the Legacy of the Hunts tournament final in between Stark and MBL, both of course as Hunts, and it's again a Desert Arabia map. And in the south right ish of the map, we have Stark in red, and on the left hand side, we have MBL, who is awfully close to the edge of the map. And <laughs> look at this oasis here. <gasps> it's not even, there's only like 10 trees around it. It's awful. And other than that, he has. This front wood against that hill, which is very bad to actually get wood from because you have a very hard time micring your villages around. And kind of this gold stone and berries on the hill and all these games, MBL always has his resources kind of in one point. But he can wall this section off pretty nicely, pretty easily with just one wall in between the forests. And actually a wall across here and a wall across here and he is completely walled. So this map is actually kind of nice if there's no forward tower coming on down to this wood line. For Stark's map, uh, he has a big hill in the front, uh, which is not really working in his favor. Although he has a back gold and a back stone. And Stark says, sure no re. And... I guess they were discussing if they have more restarts, but it said in the settings that both players only have one restart per plate set. So if it's best of three, best of five or whatever, there's no more than one restart at any given time for each player. And I think Stark is saying that because of this hill in the front, because he has very little space or very little chance to actually wall this off very efficiently. And I guess Stark wants to play some mind games here. I I can only guess, but imagine if someone baits someone else into a false restart and then then claims the win, that would be kind of nasty. So four villages on vote for Stark, I think that's kind of expected. Three villages for MBL, kind of expected as well. So they're going both going for their standard opening. MBL with scouts and Stark with his drush most of the time. Or men at arms as we've seen in the last game. Second board now coming in for MBL. Um, yeah, nothing more to say about that. Pushing deer from Stark as expected. He's not really scouting his opponent. And MBL could actually. He will lame this boar. Come on, MBL. Do it. Lame boar. Lame it. Lame it. Take it. Take the boar. MBL. No. Take the boar. Come on. You want it. You want it. Take it. He's not taking it. Is he? No, I think he's waiting for the villager. He's definitely waiting for the villager. He wants to lame the villager. And there he goes. He's going for the villager lame, but... Oh, the boar ran back. Nice. And is he going for it now? No, he's not. He's still waiting for the villager lame, but now the scout from Stark will come in, and there's no way he's going to lame the villager, which still has no loom. The villager has no loom. Uh, but now the scout is coming in, so this scout from MBL doesn't pose any threat anymore. I kind of wanted MBL to lame it. I mean, okay, now he's trying to lame the villager. Oh, and the boar is still running back. Oh my god, how unfortunate. <laughs> how unfortunate for Stark. MBL is being a pest right now, but he will be fairly okay. Those sheep will sustain him until this boar comes in or not. Uh, this villager still doesn't have loom, and it will just, he, she will just make it, I guess. Yeah, he's not, she's now garrisoned in the TC, and safe at home. And Emil has to retreat with his scout, who is now running straight into the drush of Stark. And Emil is now up, walling already. Um, I don't like this wall at all. 
in the corner. He should wall across here, but I guess he doesn't want to take any risks running into the rush of, of Stark. So he's just going for the wall across here, but I would prefer it if he walled in between those forests and not to the edge of the map. An uh, MBL scout might die here, he might survive, I'm not sure. It come, yeah, it's running into the rush again. GG scout. And that's MBL scout for now. And is Stark going for an FC or will he be going for uh, more of an FC? A flush build. I think he will be going for an FC, but it could go either way. A uh, rush build is a very flexible in what you want to go for, so it's not really often clear what a player decides to do. And everything walled off now for MBL. This rush doesn't pose any threat whatsoever for MBL at this point. And a stable will come up immediately, or maybe a range, but I guess a stable. Yeah, there's a stable coming up for MBL. And there's still a hole there, but he's closing it. So this rush is pretty much ineffective. He's not really delaying MBL at all. He made... It made MBL make this wall, but it would have made this wall anyway. And Stark is now going up to the Fuel Age. I guess he will do more of a flush build. I don't think he will take the risk. Yeah, he's on two lumber camps. I don't think he would take the risk and actually uh, trying to FC with no walls against a fuel MBL. So he's going for more of a flush build, I guess. Let's see. It would be a pretty, pretty big risk to actually um, go for an FC without walls against a feudal, a feudal player who you not have disturbed in any kind of way. So this scout from Stark will die, GG scout. And now MBL will head straight for Stark space. And he already walled in his lumber camps and he's now going for archery range, archery range, alright. He walled in his lumber camps to be secure from scouts from MBL. And archery range coming up for MBL as well. So they are committing to a kind of a feudal fight as we've seen in game 2 before. Arch is now coming up for Stark. In the in game 2, if you haven't seen it, um, MBL and Stark kind of went for the same. Just MBL went for a drush flush with five militia but they were already at the same kind of the same point with archery ranges on both sides and Stark won it through making uh, it quicker to the castle age for not investing too much and is Stark going forward? Seems like Stark is planning to go forward. Oh does he want to make a forward tower on this wood? This would be pretty much GG. If he manages to get up a forward tower on this wood line from MBL, it would be pretty much it would be a game decider in my opinion. Because moving onto this wood would be so risky for MBL. So I guess that's what he wants to do, and he's going with three militia, three archers, two spears, five villages, more and more archers to come. So he's not taking any risks here. He wants the tower up. And MBL knows that, and he sends villagers on his own. It's up, guys. It's up. It's big fight night. Big fight time for both players. And let's see who will come out on top. Skirmishes for MBL would pose a major threat to those spears and those archers. Militia's doing quite a good job here. Uh, keeping them at bay, though. And, oh my god, the scout's doing a lot of work. And... Stark is going to get cut down, I, I think. Yep, defender's advantage for MBL. Thank you, thank you, thank oh, a donation you, from Gracie Birdie, $10. Thank you very much, but let's focus on the game. Uh, still, seems like Stark's forward has been repelled quite easily. Uh, Skirms and Scouts are superior to Spears and Archers, and thus Stark has to retreat to his own base again and that's a major 
major win for MBL. He's now four villages in front. And Stark's villages here have been idle for quite some time and get taken down by this one scout one at a time. And this villager won't retreat, it will die eventually. Or will it? No, it will survive. It will just survive for now. And Stark still has to retreat to his own base. So that's now a huge win for MBL. Now six villages ahead. He's making wheelbarrow as well. Let's look at his resources. They're looking quite nicely. Farm count, 12 farms, pretty standard. For a scout rush build order and <clears throat> more skirmishes. Now approaching Stark's base and try to get some harassment done. I don't really like uh, Stark's position of his ranges. I guess he didn't want to take any risks in um, placing them here on this hill, but they would have been much better on this hill. Because now every time MBL moves in, he basically has this hill from the get-go. And seems like Stark is trying to do some damage on MBL's wood, but he's... Um, reacting quite quickly by moving his villages onto the side and he will deal with the harassment quite easily from the top of the hill while in his own base he's dealing with the skirmishes with his own scouts from the stable he added where is it here it is no upgrades yet on those scouts and he's taken down the archers from MBL kind of sloppy here from MBL Wasting those archers. It's still a very close game, though the village numbers are vastly in favor of MBL at this point. He should be able to up faster than Stark, seeing that Stark also added those scouts, which are cutting down the skirms, and all of the army from MBL is basically dead at this point. He's only on 6 military, but he's fully walled and Stark is now going for the forward tower yet again. And there's 4 villages going. And now he can actually do it because he has a huge military advantage. And this tower might not even be enough to deny a forward tower from, from Stark. But MDL now already up to the castle age. This is uh, a huge thing now because Stark made a huge commitment for fuel age aggression with scale botting armor for his scouts and this is only on 200 food so MBL will be much faster up to the castle age but let's see if Stark can actually make this tower work and he will but MBL should garrison his villages immediately to get this tower down as soon as possible because this tower will for sure go up question is for long how long will it actually stay and make the damage it's only on it's already nearly on half HP and nearly 100% build okay so it's only nearly on half HP but it still will make a huge amount of damage and MBL for now has to move his villages but where is he going to that is the big question here uh, how does wood resources look oh he's on zero wood he has zero wood he's making a lumber camp on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trees with 800 wood in total. Those won't last him very long. And this archery range is getting taken down by villagers and scouts. This could be, this could be the game for, for Stark. But MBL now making the scale barring armor. He will add knights for sure. Uh, what are the resources looking for Stark? Okay, Stark is going all in here. He's going all in feudal aggression. MBL is up, but he doesn't have much of an army, so to speak of. He's making now crossbowmen and botkin arrow. Oh, nice! Denying the wood yet again on this mini lumber camp here. And Stark needs to get in. He's making another forward tower. And MBL's wood resources are looking grim. And this tower, yet again, not taken down because the villager is repairing it in the front and this forward tower will deal quite a good damage he's still uh, keeping MBL in his base and now he's finally on wood wood again but this tower is still getting repaired so it's not really possible for him to move onto this wood and this palisade will get taken down so if it takes this army of crossbows down 
he will have a huge advantage. Though if he loses his main army as well, he could be in a lot of trouble because his own base is a little bit unprotected from any aggression from MBL. The only thing that MBL really has going for him, is, uh, Stark really has going for him for now is that he's keeping MBL at bay and he should actually, I think, garrison those archers into the tower here and make some more damage and take this tower down as well that would be huge and now he's engaging but that's a very bad fight for Stark it's a very good fight for MBL he's coming with the knights from behind and he will take down this army immediately he should carry some archers in his own tower but now Stark is also up to the castle age and he needs to preserve his army otherwise Oh my god, why, why did he delete? Did he delete that palisade? Um, seems like there's a little bit of pathing issues here. But now MBL is going for the counter attack and Stark has nothing at home. As I said before, he made a huge commitment in his all in fuel, <clears throat> fuel style and it. Oh, sorry. He made a huge commitment with his all in fuel here and the scale body armor in the plus one on the scouts. I'm sorry, I got a little bit of a sore throat. Um, and now he's towering up his base, trying to survive uh, a huge bunch of expos coming in onto his base, getting out himself out a lot of archers and upgrading them to crossbowmen eventually. But now the towers from Stark got taken down he can finally now that this little wood patch here runs out he can finally move onto his main main wood pile again and have some more wood to make some army from he's only on two ranges though he has not replenished his third range yet but he might do it as soon as possible and now that he hit castle age where are his archers there they are in the back of his base. He's now uploading both Bosa, Botcanero, and Crossbowman as the Crossbowman from MBL enter his base. And now he has the hill yet again. But Stark, on the other hand, has seem, seems to have the numbers. Uh, never mind, saying that a huge number of uh, knights coming in for MBL, so he could very well engage this. And CA, I guess, in production for Stark. Yes, CA coming in. More and more. No knights, but full range of CA. And 51 to 36 villages in favor of MBL. I didn't mention that before, but seems like Stark has cut a lot of villages and had a lot of idle time to actually advance to the next age. And he's only on six farms right now, so he's keeping constant production for only one TC. But he seems to be pretty committed into his into this right now. Uh, Sixteen villages is a huge lead at this point at this one t in one TC. And any damage that MBL does now to Stark's economy and any villager he kills will hurt double. Then what it put for MBL, who is now putting up his second and third TC and a university as well. So he will have a much bigger economic economical lead in total. So MBL is playing it very patiently right now. He's kind of Trapping Stark as Stark trapped MBL before in his base. MBL is now trapping Stark and he's just picking up villagers here and there, picking up some in the north, picking up some in the some in the, the right, some on the left, wherever. And I think if MBL can stabilize his economy now, get some more farms going, get all the TCs going, uh, it should be this game should be in his favor. He has a seven thousand point lead. And I guess Stark kind of recognizes the situation here. He's not seemed to be planning to get up more TCs. Um, 
he has now a hundred stone from this one village at the stone but he's not investing into more farms so we will have a hard time uh, maintaining villager production if he um, decides to invest into a second town center and now fourth town center even coming up for MBL to secure this wood line very wise choice on his part he has now he's now on fourth town centers he's adding a monastery to get some relics in he's on one two three ranges only at this point and knights coming in and that's coming back actually to his base maybe joining his main army force i'm not completely sure what he's playing with them maybe he's planning to heal them up oh they're on very low hp actually all of them yeah he will uh, heal them up for now with the monk and it's picking up even more villagers the positioning of the CA wasn't really perfect all in all and uh, they're still patrolling on this hill okay he's waiting for him to advance onto this hill so he wastes his army there but Emgil recognizes the situation pretty quickly and just GBs while he picked up two villagers it's 74 to 40 so I have no clue how Stark is supposed to win this right now. It's pretty much MBL's, MBL's game. MBL kind of wasting those expo here, but it's not too big of a deal. He hand card and letter archer armor, so he will soon have the superior units. He already had the ballistics advantage. And yeah. Not sure what star can really do at this point the only really thing he could do is kill like 40 villagers at once and go from there but that's not happening because mbl is very well protected all over his economy his height knights got healed up very nicely as well and it's still being a lot of damage done at his own base his main gold is running out Where's his secondary gold? There's a secondary gold that's not in a good position at all. He could place a TC there. Where's his third gold? It is nowhere to be seen. Is it that one? Oh god, that is terrible. Um, meanwhile, at MPL space, those CA from Stark are not doing too much of an impact. Um, they have to retreat in between those CA and now his army is getting trapped very nice move here in this little ground here he mbl can take this fight no matter what he has a superior economy he can take those trades easily and he has now the military advantage as well so it's basically only downhill from here for stark even though he's fighting yeah even though he's fighting downhill and this should be game gg gg stark and we go into the final fifth game of this series very well played by mel very well hold on i think stark kind of overcommitted to this feudal age push and yeah nice game a little bit of difference than we've expected maybe from stark but very well played on both players part actually very nice defense from mbl very Nice aggression from Stark, and it's too old going into the final game.